MusicBrains is one of the largest databases for music metadata online, but your first time browsing it might feel overwhelming. After running into artists, we have release groups, releases, recordings, works, and even more complicated entities. So for this video, let's break them down and understand them, starting from the most basic and moving up. You can read more about these entities in the Music Brains documentation here. Let's begin. I'm going to pretend I'm an artist. Let's say DJ Music Brains. Self-explanatory, I'm an artist, some kind of music professional or producer. This can actually include anything from actual musicians and groups to engineers, or even non-musical people, such as illustrators for album covers and fictional characters. But in my case, I'm just going to be making music. Now, I want to specialize in electronic music. Great, I pull out a sheet of paper and spend days, weeks, months, trying to compose a melody and lyrics. We now have a work, which is just a broad term for just about any artistic creation. This means that it doesn't have to be related to just music. Works encompass everything from songs to ballet, musicals, sonatas, plays, and poems. The general rule of thumb is that the work is somehow expressible in the form of audio recordings, which is why plays and poems fall under this category. We can listen to them as audio recordings. In this case though, our work is a song. Now that we have the work, we actually need to perform and record it. I grab my friend and try getting him to sing the vocal part. After a rather long period of time trying to record half decent vocals, we have our recording. This recording is audio that is eventually going to be released as a track. However, this recording includes more than just vocals, I'm also using different instruments like a synthesizer and a keyboard. Instruments are just devices that make music. That's basically it. Whether or not I keep this recording as a single or add more songs to make an album, I need someone to actually push it out for me. Here we have labels, which usually refer to the brand used to market recordings and releases. Now that I've decided to make it an album with more songs, we eventually have to release them. Releases are how music is distributed. For example, putting out a CD and a digital download on iTunes means I'm putting out two releases. The two formats I put this album in represent different mediums, which are physical forms that a release might take, including CDs, vinyls, cassettes, digital download, and more. It turns out that the album I Love Music database is skyrocketed, so we decide to release vinyl and cassette versions alongside our original CD and digital formats. A different record label even offers to release it internationally and create a deluxe version of the album. These all count as different releases because they either exist on different mediums, were released in different regions, were released under a different label, or had exclusive tracks not on the original. But since they're fundamentally the same album, we can group these into a release group, a single group of similarly related releases. Keep in mind, however, that a release can belong to only one release group. Seeing the album get so popular inspires us to go on a concert tour, so we look at certain areas that we might want to hold concert tours. Area just means a geographic region, which is a bit of a broad term but includes cities, municipalities, states or provinces, and countries. Next, we pick our venue in certain cities. For example, in Los Angeles, we might decide to perform at the Staples Center. This would be a place, which is a building or another area used for performances or music production. And finally, we can host an event, which refers to an organized event that people can attend. Keep in mind that these events usually pertain to music in some form, whether they be concerts, festivals, conventions, or any other type of event. The final way that we can organize all the stuff that we learned about before is in the series. Sometimes releases, works, or events are all part of some kind of related sequence. For example, albums might be part of a series, like if I made an I Love Music databases parts 2 and 3, multiple concerts might compose a tour, and so on. So to track the sequence, we can put them together in series. 
This just about covers all the different entities that exist in Music Brains, and hopefully the search menu on the homepage isn't as daunting now. Feel free to start browsing the collection now, or head over to the documentation to learn more about Music Brains. And me? I think I'll start figuring out how to actually produce some music. Bye!